Awo, Shalom once again, and we're going to get into this particular Holy Scripture at this particular, at this particular um, holy time. And this is a prayer. This is this is a a reminder to us as the chosen people to to, to pray and to pray for our world rulers and leaders, the leaders of this seclorum because it is the will of our God Father and our Black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christ. And, and to even pray for our President, Obama, in this particular time. And it is very important seeing that this is a, a, a high holy season, or what is known as the Yom Kippur, that we pray. In fact, that is one of the 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 duties in that sense to do that is one of the to do to do at this particular time that we are moving in especially October 7th the sunset to the nightfall of October 8th and here we are in 1st Timothy 1st Timothy chapter 2 1st Timothy chapter 2 and let's get right into this particular very important message of, of, of prayer, as well as the power of prayer. And so fulfill a, a mitzvah or a tizaz, fulfill the commandment, to keep the commandment. As Revelation even said, these are they who keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Yeshua HaMoshiach. These are they who keep the commandments of God and our black Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. So let's get into this. That's the Ma'awu the Menses of Kedusa Hadu Amlak, verse 1 and 2 of 1 Timothy chapter 2. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Bamarinya, according to the Mets of Kedusa of Negusa Neges, the Book of the Seven Seals, the Sema'awul Memphis Kedusa Hadram Lak, Mejamaria Yitu, Yehawariya Yeb Aulo Samaliket Awadet Imotewos, Mi'raf Hulet, Demilo in Gedi Egezia Viherina, Bemem Salena, Bechmetinetto Hulu, Setna Ziga, Belena and Nor, Lemenana, Salota, Meljama, Miskanama, Seleso, Chulu, Selenegestatina, Selemequan and Timohulu, and Dida Ragua, Kahulu, Bethi, Temekralo. Now, the English translation and the Amharic is, is very much underlie. It's very much one. It's, it's very much um, similar in this sense. But let's go over it for a moment. He's saying, I exhort, I exhort, I, I advise, in Mekralu, I advise, therefore, that first of all, that first of that, that before everything else, before everything else, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Now, we, we need to understand this carefully. Some people say, well, I don't give thanks for anybody but for God. But God's Word says something very interesting and says something different than what you hear men and people say. It's saying that the first of all, and now Bamarinya, it's interesting in the Amharic, and here we have supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks. And I think it's important for us to understand this very carefully. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, um, to, the, to the whiteboard for a moment to explain this. All right? And now in the whiteboard explanation, it says, it says, um, it says supplications. Well, what do we have here? We have um, supplications, right? Supplications, 
It has prayers. Right? Uh, thirdly, it has intercessions. And then fourthly, it has um, giving of thanks. All right, now, Bamarinya, it says, Limena na selot milijam misganam. So let's break this down. It says, Limena, right? Selot. It says mil ja, and it says miss ga na. All right. It says limena selot mil ja and miss gana. Now limena. What is limena? Limena means begging. Literally, it means to. To, to to ask, but ask in a in a in a beseeching way, like when in the scripture it says, "I beseech thee," to to ask in a beseeching way, to beseech one. Then when it says the selot, the selot is prayer. Then it says milja, 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 like from malada, which means to rise very early. It's like the early morning prayer, intercession. When one intercedes for one, and say, if I'm interceding for one with a king, right, on your behalf. So I rise very early, and I get out there to the king's and the king's gate very early in order to um, beseech him or to, to intercede, in other words, early in the morning. It has an idea of before even the day begins, before somebody begins their day. I'm going to be at the door. I'm going to be there. So in the practice of it, this is what's like the early morning prayer. Some faithful mitmanan are known sometimes to rise up early in the morning to pray, and they pray on behalf of different ones, intercede, be, intercede on behalf of certain ones who may not have the power of, of, of prayer or the focus of mind and the tribulation, so one will intercede on their behalf. And then lastly but not leastly is the giving of thanks or the misgana, the misgana, the misgana. And if you notice the context of the text, it says right here, <clears throat> be made for all men. Not for some men, not just for our Hebrew, black Hebrew, Israelites, ones like us, but for all men. See, the, the, here's where the, 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 we could say the spiritual so-called rubber meets the spiritual road. Because many will say, I, I just don't like that person, so because they're still on the material level. They're still on the fleshy level. They're still on the carnal level. Therefore, they cannot, they may be Israel but they're not spiritual Israel, true Israel, because they cannot pray for other people because they still have this flesh. The, 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 the flesh has become a wall. Even if these other people have done you wrong, you understand, the power of prayer is greater than the wrong. You're not begging them. You're not praying to them. You're praying to the Almighty, you understand, on their behalf or concerning them. Which is which is the the, the the key. Now in the second verse it says for kings and for all that are in authority. For kings and for all that are in authority. Bamarinya is a silenegastatina for kings and sila mequanintim hulu. The mequanint are like the judges, where it says princes shall come out of Egypt. The word it uses the mequanint. In Ethiopia, to stretch forth her hands to God. So for kings, which is to say in our terms today, like for presidents or for your mayors, for your governors, and for all that are in authority, your, your, your local rulers, the police even, that what? For what purpose are we praying? That we that I and I may lead a what? A quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness. 
بمرن یا گزیابی هرین به ممثل نا you know saying resembling God resembling he who lets it rain on the good and on the evil the sun shines on the good and the evil the fresh wind blows on the good and the evil so we are resembling the Almighty in that act of kindness and that act of charity and that act of goodness so that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life in godliness and it says in honesty or in gravity in seriousness the chmetinet in gravity or in seriousness it says in verse 3 for this is for this is what is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior who will have all men to be saved now some people be like I don't care about that person because that person such and such well see it's a good thing that they're not God you know saying because the true God our Savior will have all men to be saved in other words he will allow and give them an opportunity so none have been just the door has not been shut to any with his life this hope This is why we say we should pray for the president. We should pray for those in rulership. We should pray for Obama. We should pray for these so-called world leaders. Who will have all men, our God, the Savior, uh, the Savior, our God, will have all men to be saved, and here's the key right here, and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Isn't this what we want? Is that what we seek? We say we want people to understand this truth that we know. So therefore, why don't why do we not pray for them according to what the word says? Bamarinya, in the mark it says, "So chuhulu ali dununa unetuna wada mawek ali adarasu be mia wada be egziaviharam be medhane tachina fita melkamena desa yemia senya yihno." So this is the key right here. For this is good. This is doing good. You understand? This is acceptable. When is the last time that you have prayed for the kings, the kings of the earth, the world leaders, the president, your local rulers, your local politician and their grudges or judges and, and the cops and the police so that you and I and I and I may lead a quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness so we can resemble Jah. We can resemble his majesty and in honesty or in gravity being grave and serious. For there is one God. And now in the context of this is speaking to us, we acknowledge there's only one true God. There may be other gods and lords, but for us, there's only one true God and one mediator. Only one mediator between God and men, the man, Christos Jesus, the man, the Moshiach, Yeshua, the man, Christ Jesus, our black Lord and Savior, who gave himself a ransom for all, for all. Firstly, for us as the black sheep, but for all, for all to be testified in due time. So we have to get it first, and the others will testify to this truth and reality in, in due time. Verse of Kutaramis, and the Gizyabi her alena, the Egizyab herna, the so in the cockle yellow, the cockle in yawa degmoa and the alle, Ursuma so a yohone Christos Yasus no Rasunimal Hulua beza set a him begaza zamanu miskernatua nebre. In Malazi Negarawa Janegarina Hawaria Be Imanetina Be Unetima Yahzabastamaria Le Mahona Teshomu Unetana Graloa Allah Washim. Now this leads us to verse um, verse uh, seven. And uh, verse 7 says, Where to 
or where unto, but where to I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Moshiach. I speak the truth in Christ, even Christ in his kingly character. And lie not, and lie not. A teacher of the Gentiles, a teacher of the nations, in faith and verity, in faith and verity. In other words, in faith and truth. But imnetina, but unetim. Yahzab Astamari of the nations, the teachers of the nation Lemahona to show me who I was appointed to this. Unet inagaralo. I speak the truth. Allah and lie not. There is no lie. It may may every man be a liar, but Yah be true. And this is the truth concerning Christ and his kingly character. Now, when we move to verse eight, it says, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands, lifting up consecrated hands without wrath and doubting. Now, here's, a, here's another key. That wanted to lift up their hands in prayer, but without wrath or doubting. See, this is why the, 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 the self-recognition and self-introspection is such a key and it's so vitally important. Kutara cement in Gdi. Wendo chabe sifra hulu ale 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 kutana ale kutana ale kufu asa yete kadesa tu tena jo chia nesua ndi atsaliu efek dalo. He says, I will, I permit that men everywhere. Lift up holy hands, that men, that the males. Now notice, Hawaii Apollos, he's focusing on the males. And, and going through the Torah portions and the readings, it's very important that we understand that there are three times where all the males of the Beit Israel. So when we speak about manning up, we as lost sheep, we as manning up, here's the root of manning up. The first manning up we have to do, we have to be the man that Ha Elohim created. That's where it begins to man up. And when we begin there, all the other areas where we as men in particular, you understand, and as black men in general have fell down on, we can restore you understand, whether in our family, in our life, or in our relationship with our children, whether with one another, our brothers and sisters and others, and we can work all those things out once we begin by manning up to Jah, Ras, to Farai. Now, stay tuned for the next part of this. It's very, very important. We don't want you to miss it. So, Shalom, Ras, Tefari.